Thanks everyone for coming out. My name is Jeremiah Wheeler and I am the Executive Vice President and General Manager of FinTech at Digital Recognition Network or DRNData.com. So what I wanted to talk to everyone today about is something that we've been working on for about 10 years now. Um, started in 2008 and we were having a big problem with repossession agencies not being able to find enough cars to uh, to help the banks and credit unions and things keep above the water with with regards to subprime lending and everything else so we built a product and teamed up with a company out of Livermore California called Vigilant Solutions now our sister company and we created an LPR system that we sell into the marketplace to repossessors and repossession agencies and we have about 4,000 sets of cameras in the market right now uh, and they basically recognize license plates, store GPS latitude and longitude, date and time, imagery of the vehicle. Um, and we'll watch this quick video. There's so much data at your fingertips, but which of it is going to provide the answers you need? DRN's unique database of vehicle location sightings helps you better understand and connect with your customers. Whether it's connecting lenders with their customers or identifying fraud for insurance carriers, our data provides key insights you can't get anywhere else. And the possibilities are endless. In short, we help turn our clients' risk into revenue by improving debt collection for financial institutions and giving insurance companies easier and faster ways to detect fraud and resolve claims. So take a ride with DRN because with us in the driver's seat, all roads lead to revenue. We have over 7 billion sightings to date in our database. We're collecting about 160 million sightings a month nationwide in about 390 markets. And so what does that mean for credit unions? What does that mean for financial institutions that are making loans to different varieties of customers across different platforms? It means that we can help you provide insights to you to help you better find your customers. And we're doing that currently for a number of different credit unions and lending institutions across the country. Full life cycle management. We have a really great relationship and partnership with Allied Solutions that helps us uh, gather all of this data and help track the members' loans and also identify risk earlier in the cycle, whether it be in the servicing arena, the collections arena, or the asset recovery arena. We can help validate addresses. We can help uh, you know, identify new addresses based on clustered sightings in residential locations versus commercial locations. So an example of some of the case studies, one particular example of a case study that we did for uh, one of our credit union customers is we were able to prove that over time, over the course of about 24 months, they could have saved over nine million dollars a year in charge-off losses by using data and analytics earlier in cycle to tell where their customers were not. They're always somewhere you think they're, that they're not. Um, so in this case, we were able to tell them, you know, 21 days prior to charge-off that this car was located over 200, over 300 miles away actually from, from the given address of where they were actually sending agents out to uh, recover the car. So. What does that mean for credit unions? Uh, just in 2017 and 2018 so far, we've been able to identify 743,000 sightings on credit union member vehicles that actually are in collections or de on default. Uh, we've helped identify impound, stolen, and, and uh, total salvage alerts on over 56,000 autos. And also, we've returned 200 plus thousand locations that are clustered solid addresses with scores that can tell you, you know, when the best time to go recover that asset, when the best time to send a door knock to make contact, or when the best time to call. So it also helps kind of bubble up the, the addresses you're looking at on a comp report to say, you know, they're back at grandma's house, they're not really uh, where you think they are anymore. Um, and then also one quick point to point out there, uh, PFCU, was, is a great client of ours and you know just in one month we had a recent press release that they've saved over $150,000 in potential charge-off losses in their in their auto division so it's doing really good things out there uh, 2017 impact in the auto finance space this is kind of also inclusive of credit unions but also all of our other top 100 auto lenders uh, 165,000 vehicles were recovered due to our alerts and data 3,700 camera kits. We have about 360,000 units that are being sought for real-time recovery, 
and uh, over $2, $2 billion in assets returned to lending institutions just in 2017. So the revolution continues. What does that mean for everyone in the room? Uh, like I said, our partnership with Allied Solutions and, a, and an upcoming partnership with On Approach, we're going to create really good early to use data and analytics, predictive analytics for risk modeling, for identifying you know, the best customers to lend to, maybe the customers to get more information on, also helping to identify fraud earlier in cycle, where the fraud pockets are, if they're geographically spaced or if they're you know, in certain uh, demographics of a credit score, et cetera. So we have a lot of things coming. We're going to be putting our data all of those sightings and, and repeated sightings into the data lakes um, to analyze and, and build better products for credit unions to use and help mitigate risk so that you guys can lend more and not use so many resources and, and tools and dollars uh, out there trying to collect the money that you lent. So um, with that, that's all I have. I'm going to turn it over to questions. Judges? So law enforcement has used uh, technology like this for quite a while and has generated in a number of places concerns about uh, privacy and concerns about collection and retention. How does that impact your business and your business model? Yes, so I would say it does impact, um, currently not negatively because we do spend a lot of time, energy and effort and money uh, lobbying to be sure that we keep this data in its current form uh, to where there is no data retention. Uh, it's not currently uh, regulated by any financial services laws. Um, we actually self-regulate under the Driver's Privacy Protection Act, but also under that act, if you read, there's zero right to privacy for license plates, and they have to be lit and legible um, for law enforcement use. And so all we're doing is photographing, which is a First Amendment right, freedom of speech. The storage of that photograph is our, is our actual speech. And so if, you, if a state comes out like Utah did, Utah came out and blocked our uh, use of, the private use of LPR data, and we sued them for a First Amendment violation and got that overturned very quickly. So it's basically, uh, we have no information whatsoever on the consumer. The, the customer, I mean, the credit union, the lender has the right to connect those dots. But if I held up my license plate right now and said, can anyone tell me who I am? The answer would be no. So there's zero right to privacy. There's zero violation of privacy. There is no privacy when it comes to us taking a picture of a piece of metal in public. So. Time for one more question. What's the percentage of credit unions using this in your uh, right now, we have over 100 uh, credit unions using it. Um, I would say we have a few top five or ten credit unions when it comes to auto, uh, looking at the auto loans. Um, and so in the terms of the top 100 auto lenders out there, using it directly is about 35 percent. Indirectly, through some of our partner channels, it's about 95 percent use our data to pick in, up cars. In, in that $2 billion number? What's the credit union portion of it? The credit union portion is probably very low. It's probably 20% of that. Um, so as that market grows in terms of our customer base, uh, we started really in the captive and in the banks, you know, the, the larger. But as credit union growth has uh, been fueled for, you know, pretty heavily by the indirect auto lending, we, we focus on that space pretty hard now. All righty. Well done, yep. Jeremiah. Thank you Thank very you. much. Well done, guys.